did you stop gymnastics? Are you really 21? Guys, I've been lying to you. What's up guys, it's me Skylar. So today I thought I would do a little fun Q&A for you guys. So make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first question is, what age did you start gymnastics? So I started gymnastics when I was, okay, so here's the thing. I started gymnastics when I was seven years old, but I was in acro at dance class and I had like these perfect cartwheels, so I was probably about like five when I started doing like acrobatics, but then when I moved to California from New Jersey when I was seven, I started gymnastics. Next question is, are you vegan? No, I am not vegan. A lot of people assume that I am vegan because I don't eat dairy. I do eat meat, I don't eat gluten. I am not vegan, I love meat. But nothing against the vegans out there. You do you, but I'm gonna do me too. Okay, did you stop gymnastics? Well guys, this is a question that I get a lot. So I did gymnastics for over 12 years and I just competed my last season in 2023. I just felt like it was time for me to move on. I just felt like it was time for me to explore new things. I have a lot of new stuff with acting and I started coaching. Coaching is actually what I wanted to do when I grew up. I used to play pretend coach when I was like nine years old. So yes, I did stop gymnastics, but I do coach now and on Wednesday nights, I do like an adult gymnastics class to keep my skills up, so. What got you started into coaching? This is a perfect follow-up question for the last question. It was just a random day. Well, really, it wasn't really random. It was the day after Halloween, and I wanted to find this adult gymnastics class because the gymnastics class I was going to, the adult gymnastics class, was like kind of basic for me, and I was like, it's kind of too easy. So there was a gym near my house where I was like, no, they probably don't have adult gymnastics. But they did, and I was like, okay, so I'll go try. So I went and tried out. I didn't try out. I went and tried it, and I really enjoyed it. And then that following night, the owner's assistant texted me, and she was like, would you like to work here? We need a new rec coach. So then I started with rec, and I started coaching them. And now, I think in December, I moved all the way up to team. So now I coach the team on beam and vault. And me and another coach switch off on beam and vault, but we all do bars. But yeah, that's how I got into coaching. I actually wanted to be a coach so bad when I was little. I was like, I'm gonna be the best coach ever and I'm gonna have my own gym. So, we'll see where that takes us. Are you really 21? Guys, I've been lying to you. I'm almost 22. <laughs> so yeah, I actually am 21. I'm going to be 22 in April. I know it's actually crazy but I'm just gonna look young for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna look like old and wrinkly. So I'm very happy about that. Were you homeschooled? So I actually was homeschooled from fifth grade on and then I did online school. I went to public school in elementary school. I don't know, it, it just didn't really fit me. It was like a lot of, I don't know. I mean, I was good academically, like I was like, yeah, but like socially it was like kind of intimidating. So that along with my gymnastics schedule, my parents were like, what are you still in school? And fun fact, well not really a fun fact, but the last day I went to public school, I was put on the wall of shame. I did not finish one side of my homework. It's not like I didn't finish it because like I was like tired. It's because I didn't finish it because I was asking my teacher, do we do both sides? And he was on the phone talking to someone. He was like, yeah, 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 whatever. So I left and I thought that's what he said, but I didn't do the other side. And I got put on the wall of shame. How dare you put a nine or 10 year old on the wall of shame? Are you an actress? Yes, I am an actress. I do do acting. I also do voiceover. I recently just had a Zoom call with a new agency and they offered me representation. So I am going with a new agency and I'm so excited. That actually happened a few days ago. So 
so excited. I have been acting since I was four years old and I loved it. It literally comes so natural to me and I also just got into voiceover like five or six years ago and I also really enjoy that because a lot of people say I have a unique voice. I don't hear it personally, but comment down below if you think I have a unique voice. And last question, what is your favorite TV show? I have a couple of favorite TV shows. Number one, The Summer I Turned Pretty. That show is literally the best thing ever made on this planet. My celebrity crush is in that show. Yes, I do love Chris Briney. He is very cute in the show, but Jeremiah, which is Gavin Castellania, he is so fine, guys. I don't know what y'all are talking about when you say he's not. And my second favorite show, I think it's definitely gonna be Good Luck Charlie. Definitely a good show. And I also love Modern Family. I love Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, and Hannah Montana. Oh my gosh. I'm just going on a like a Disney Channel rant right now. So right, you're pretty. Good luck, Charlie. Modern Family. Where's your baby place? Hannah Montana. That's a Raven. Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Some of my favorite movies. I know they didn't ask that question, but my favorite movies are. Um, I love The Devil Wears Prada. I love High School Musical. Oh, 13 Going on 30. Such a good movie. Oh my gosh. 10 Things I Hate About You. I literally just saw that movie. It is. If you haven't watched it, I need you to go watch it right now. Right now. If you're 13 and up. If you're not, don't watch it yet. But yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 11K, which I'm so excited about. And please comment down below some more video ideas for me to do. And I post every single Saturday. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.